Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Out doing a little uh, fishing on one of the many lakes here in uh, Michigan here today. Just going out to see if we can uh, catch a few pan fish and uh, enjoy nature. You guys stick around. You're good. Come here. I got my Hollywood sunglasses on. You do have your Hollywood sunglasses on. <laughs> And there is my bobber out there. We got a, just a little bit of waves on the lake, which is actually good. I put a uh, snelled hook on there with a little bit of a blade. So uh, the waves can actually do the action for me of uh, basically jigging my bait. And we're right along a little bit of structure here. That's exactly what you look for when you're uh, pan fishing. When you're out in the water in a canoe or a uh, kayak, it's all right to have a little bit of uh, gear, especially if you're stopping along the shore and stuff. But uh, when you're in a boat out in a little bit bigger lake or bigger body of water, you always want to keep in mind you don't want to have too much gear because the more stuff you put in the boat makes the boat uh, tippy and uh, can cause you problems. So you always want to uh, kind of really uh, weed your gear out when you're... Uh, heading out on the water in a boat, especially in a, a smaller boat. You don't want to overgear it up. Now, uh, just because I said you want to weed your gear out when you're coming out here in a small boat on a larger body of water, that doesn't mean you shouldn't have some stuff with you. Um, I always like carrying compass, carry that around my neck, and a good sharp um, folding knife in your pocket's good. A pair of gloves um, because you're going to be handling lines and stuff. Sunglasses because uh, you know it's bright out here. Another thing that I got in my uh, vest here is I got a uh, orange handkerchief. That's going to be for uh, signaling and drying stuff off, drying off uh, seat to sit on or uh, whatever. But you want to pretty much have everything on your body. You want to have it in your pocket or uh, your life vest. And uh, I switched from a bobber to a jig. And this is a little pinky jig here, just pink with a little fluff on the back there. I got a little piece of bait on it. I'm fishing my other pole just on the bottom. You always want to make sure you have enough uh, tackle when you go out on a lake like this because you never know what the fish are going to be biting on, or in our case, not biting. But you want to have the ability to uh, switch up your lures and offer something different. These little lakes here in Michigan, most of them are uh, formed by the uh, glaciers. And we are just a few feet offshore here and our anchor rope is uh, right to the max. We got 30 foot anchor rope. That's how deep the water is just this far off uh, shore here in uh, these uh, small lakes. Well, the fish aren't biting, so uh, I thought I'd tell you guys a uh, quick story. Back when I was uh, younger, my dad wanted me to do something, and I didn't want to do it. I wanted to go uh, fishing instead. So I said, hey, I'm going to go fishing, Dad. So I, I went fishing, and uh, I ended up just uh, drinking beer with my buddies instead of actually going fishing. And uh, 
I got ready to leave. My buddy said, why are you leaving? And I said, well, I said, I've got to stop at the fish market before it closes so I can buy a few fish and make up a story to tell my dad why I wasn't there. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that uh, story while we're sitting out here waiting for the uh, fish to bite. But anyway, just a little, uh, some tips from out here on the uh, lake today. Uh, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all you guys watching my videos out there. Uh, hope you guys uh, get a little uh, information and entertainment out of my videos. And you guys have a good one.